I've provided you with everything. You have so much money at your disposal. Yet, you don't want others to eat the crumbs that fall from your table. What is it? The question is, must they keep banging on my gate like that? Why? Especially whenever they are waiting here in town. I mean, they keep drooping in and out like that. The whole thing is making me sick already. Can't you get it? Do you know who you're talking about? Of course. These are my people. So? I love them and they love me. You expect me to throw my back on them? How? I realize they're sweethearts. As long as they keep coming in and out of the dynasty unannounced, I will keep throwing them away like a piece of trash. Like seriously? Of course. Now let me ask you. Who are they coming to meet? Now tell me, is it you? The answer is no. They are coming to meet me. So what's your problem? No, husband, you didn't get it. You and I are one. So if they're coming to see you, they're coming to see me. Can't you act like all the politicians? I mean, others go to the office with one thing in mind. Which is? Which is to grab money. Oh. To get it in quantum to become richer. Don't tell me that you are going to this office to just to rent there? Is that what you want to tell me? So, you think I became a politician just to lose the people's form? No! I went into that office to make sure that I enrich people, to bring them out of poverty. That is my single objective. So if you think I will go there and steal, the answer is capital no! Okay? No, you're going to do it. You will do as sadly as I have said. You will do it. Of course. Now let me ask you this. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, the whole world, only to lose his soul to the devil? Now what is this? You are now sounding like a preacher. I get married to a politician and not some pastor. And I am telling you that I am a political Christian. So take it from me. I am not a thief. Sweetheart, I'm missing you already. It's who I always miss you. I know. Huh? You will always be my baby. Um, I better to go now because my flight is in 30 minutes. I know. Hmm? Take off yourself and my boy. I will. Alright?
goosebumps all over my body. Jack, has my dad left for the airport? Yes, he has, sir. What time did he leave? Uh, that was like a few moments, few moments ago. How could you have forgotten that dad had an official meeting in Abuja? him but it's okay it's fine I'll call him over the phone I'll be in my room just in case you need me okay Oh my goodness. Don't miss your 
husband. Okay. Yes, of course, you're supposed to miss your husband. He is your husband. But you have to start getting used to the fact that he is now a senator. He is in power. His place is now in Abuja. As if I don't know of that. But mom, this is what you have always wanted. You've always wanted to be in power. You've always wanted the affluence, the good that comes with it, the joyful moments, traveling, first class. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is what you always wanted, Bob. Right? I don't know why I'm feeling this way, Ramsey. How? I feel like something bad is about to hit this family. Something bad? No, come on. Mom, nothing bad is going to happen to us. We are fine. We are okay. Nothing bad will happen. I, I don't know where this is coming from, but trust me, we're good. And you'll be strong. You've always been the strong woman that I know. I'm sure you're just missing that. That's all. This one is very strong. The feeling is so strong. Let's just say, let's just say you're really missing that. If you ask me, I think you're really missing that. And I remember him telling you, or telling us rather, that we should move over to Abuja with him. But you refused. I guess you did that because of the business is here, right? Your business is here. Take it from me. Nothing bad is going to happen to us. Okay? We'll be fine. And you've got me. Your son. Oh, your okay. adorable son. Please. I like to think of, um, I like to think myself as your only child. Oh, you're not. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, you'll be good, okay? <laughs> I know you're good now, right? Okay. Fine, right? I'll be in my room if you need anything. You let me know. that has ever happened to me. Meeting you was just magical. Loving and getting married to you was just the best decision I have taken as a woman. Abby, you have condoned me irrespective of my flaws. Thank you. 
very neat. So that's the way it is. <laughs> but sweetheart, yeah. how about vying for the position of a senate in your constituency? I mean, have you thought about that and its benefits? No. I've never given thought to it. I'm comfortable where I am. In the absolute You might be comfortable, but I'm Margaret, your wife. Mm -mm. I've got my eyes on the presidential seat. And believe me, I will never rest till we get to Astarok. Margaret. Hmm? Why this inordinate quest for power? I mean, it was your quest for power that made me to contest for the position of the House of Reps in the first place. And you won. Of course I did. No! But I'm comfortable where I am. I am not. Like I said earlier, I've got my eyes on the presidential seat. And I would never rest. Till we get to after all. Come on, sweetheart, it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I, 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 I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Bring the matter up during our party meeting. Okay. And check out how others will react to it. That's a good point. Yeah, but to be honest, you need to tune down. No, tune down? Come. <laughs>
I'm so happy. Yes. So I am. Oh, my senator. My beautiful wife. I must commend you. I mean, I, I admire you. Your courage, your drive, your support for me over the years. Thank you for all your doing. Uh -huh. eh? Sweetheart, you're well deserving of everything you've got. Okay. Believe me. I'm sure you don't even know the reason I accepted your proposal years ago. No. Confession. <laughs> <laughs> Let me confess, sweetheart. Over the years, you have been such an outstanding personality and an outspoken girl of our time. Sweetheart, your eloquence sweeps me off my feet each time you speak. Oh, sweetheart, I'm not finished. Go ahead. You're young, outstanding. Smart, intelligent, mm -hmm. educated, Good. you've got all the qualities, you know, to become the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. But it's all right, sweetheart, you are now the senator. Mm -hmm. Fast and fast, it's okay to become a senator. But at the end of your tenure, mm -hmm. which is at the expiration of your tenure, I want you to vie. For the seat of the Senate President, mm. I'm sure you'll get it once you've gotten it, which means we are very close to Aserok, to the presidential seat of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My wonderful wife. Yes, baby. So ambitious. Ah. Uh, you, you don't chicken out when you embark on a project. It's a virtue. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at your wife, what do you see? Now, what do you see? Oh. Well, when I look at myself, mm. I see myself as a future first lady of this country. Mm. My first lady. Oh, my president, stop. <laughs> I love you more. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you, baby. Yeah, I'm happy myself. You know, without you, no drive. Uh, you are the angel room. Eh? Help it. Help it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And after the general election, my husband, Honorable Dr. Abby, was announced the winner. He became the senator, and I was extremely happy. <laughs> Progressive Movement Party, PMP, celebrated his victory. I'm happy. BMB we are progressing in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have progressively marched into victory. Yes. Together, we have won. Oh, yeah. Together, we are victorious. Yes. And together, we shall march into the Harvard Chapel.
My husband went to the Senate and I became the most happiest woman on earth. Immediately he was sworn into the office. I started walking graciously with my shoulders high and nose in the air and never mind whose art is correct. Power is sweet. Power and wealth is just like a sweet wine that intoxicates. Well, people hate my guts. They complain that I'm wicked and pompous. But who cares? <laughs> Heart of evil Can I ask you one of my time What have you done With no remorse No in my That's what I'm going to do What? 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 Jack, what's going on? What about it? Chairman is visiting the motherless baby home and the orphanage home today. So, these are some of the items he wants to ask today. All that? Yes, sir. Hey, now you look at me when I'm talking to you, my friend. Tell me what is going on. Oh, you mean this? Of course. They are for the less privilege and the opportunity. I beg your pardon? How? You mean you want to take all this to wear with people? I'm asking you, Senator. Oh, come on, my friend. I'm only trying to extend a hand of benevolence to the less privileged. <laughs> Who am I? I'm their benefactor. I need to help them. Okay? And it might surprise you to know that their prayers have helped me in remaining in the Senate up to now. Their prayers? Can you hear yourself? It is now your prayers. Their prayers. Not mine anymore. I personally paved your way to the Senate. I want you to have that in mind. So whenever you want to do some certain things, you have to include me, your wife, my friend. I orchestrated everything and made everything work. And today, you are a senator. Only for you to tell me, you keep reminding me every day, each time, that your prayer is not my own anymore. Now you listen to me, senator. I will not allow you to take your sin anywhere. All right, without my consent, I will not let you do it. Look, Margaret, I appreciate the fact that you orchestrated everything. I mean, you were the prime mover. But don't forget, these are my people. As we speak, some of them don't even know when their next meal is coming. So this is just an act of love and kindness towards them. Okay? So please, let, let, let me carry out this, this action. Let, let, them, let, our people, let them breathe. Let them breathe? They should go to the farm and breathe. What do you mean by that? I would not allow you to step an inch without a thing. Margaret? Yes! While I was confused, these were the things I put in my manifest. This allowed me as a formless politician to implement my manifesto to the left. I am aware. Okay? Yes! And if you check my manifesto, mm -hmm. these are part of it. Oh, these are part of it! I want me to implement my manifesto to the letter. Okay? Sugar heart, read my lips. I will not allow you step an inch. You will not leave this dynasty. I will not allow you to. Really? Oh, really, really. Son, let's go. Yeah. Let me see how you will move this vehicle from those premises. Margaret, what is this? Huh? You thought I was choking. Let me see how you move this vehicle. Move, let me see. Mm. 
Who are you? Good morning, my son. Good morning, ma. What do you want? I heard, I heard that the senator is in town, so I'm here to see him. Yes, he's in town. Uh, so, sorry, ma. Uh, do you have any official appointment with the senator? No, I don't. I am a widow. I came to see if he can give me some money to feed, to feed my family. That's why I'm here. Oh, Biko. This is very hard. But let me see what I can do. Come in there. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my friend. You can sit there. Thank you. Okay, just, just make sure you're seated. I'm coming. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm in town. I, I've actually been around for a while now. Yes. It's okay. Uh, please, let me call you back, okay? Fine. Yes, what is it, Jack? Good morning, Chairman. Good morning. There is an old widow at the gate. She wants to see you. Old widow. Did she tell you why she's here? No, she didn't. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Uh, okay, man. The senator said I should bring you in. Thank you, my son. You're welcome. My God, we bless you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, my son. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, please. Please Hold on, please. No, 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 no. You don't have to see. You keep standing. You can't. Excuse me? Excuse you what? Sweetheart? What? What kind of heart do you have? I mean, are you seriously a person that dirty old woman to spit on my cat? Ah, please stop. Let me wrap her. Stop. Oh, stop what, please? What's embarrassing her? Embarrassing her at how? How? Look, woman, this is my house. And I decide who sits and who doesn't, okay? Mama, please sit! But this is my house, too. Keep standing, please. You can see she's even jacket. Mama, sit down. Sit down! I came here to tell you something that is important, but I can see that you still want to entertain dirty people. Ah, Mama, you're welcome. Please, I'm sorry for that information, okay? Now tell me, um, why are you here this morning? Senator, I heard you are around. Just, I'm fine, but I go hunger, no food. I go. I'm happy that you are okay. All right, that health-wise you are okay. If it is food, forget it. I'll take care of it. Okay. Uh, Jack, yes sir. Go to my room and bring something for mom. Okay. Thank you. Sir. So, how you do? Your family is fine. Okay, don't worry. He's alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
give it to her. You know, this is for you. Hey. Oh, I'll be my son. Mama, God will bless you. Please, 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 oh. stand up. God will bless you. Stand up. Don't move that. Hey! Oh. You see, the God of the widows will bless you. Amen. You see, in this forthcoming presidency election, that as well, like, you will get there. Amen. The God of the widows will take you there. It's okay, but God will bless you. Stand up. Oh. Okay. My God will bless you. Oh! Hey. You know what? Hey. It's all right, eh? Now, I, I will send my boy to bring some food stuff for you in your house, okay? Thank you. So, don't oh. worry, everything will be fine. I'll be fine, you chuku. I'll be fine, you chuku, man. God will bless you. Amen. You will get to us, Obila. Eh? The God of the widows that you have been helping all these years, eh? He will talk for you. Amen. He will speak for you. Amen. You will get there. Thank you. Oh, please, please. Thank you. Stop kneeling down oh. for me. Please. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. God bless you. It's alright. Uh, Jack, yes, sir. See her off, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. Money, what money again? Let me have the money my husband gets to you. So he gave it to me to feed. You think I'm joking with you? What is all this? What, the, what did I do to you now? Your husband gave me the money to feed with. Why are you taking it now? That's big money for you. No, possible. Bread, what did I ever do to you now? If I request you now, you will hit your head on the wall and die. So behave. Mama, why are you like this? What did I do to you? Give me the money your husband gave to me to give me that. Hey, my friend, give me the money. Hey, oh God, what kind of life? What kind of life is that? What kind of life is that? What kind of life is that? What did I do to this woman? Huh? Which one do I see? I don't even have a dime on me. Hey! My friend, what did I do to you? Oh God, take my life, let me die and go and feed my own. Hey! What is this now, God? I want to die. I want to die and go to my husband and my children. I don't know what else to do. Why? Were you attacked by arm robbers? <laughs> yes. Your wife took the money you gave to me. Your wife came here. My wife? The money. Yes. She just left with the money. What did I ever do to her? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I will give you another one. Let's go. Let's go. Okay? Let's go. Please get up. Get up. Please. Please. Get up. Oh, oh, Dust your... oh, yeah. yourself. Dust yourself. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Margo. Hmm? What did you do out there this morning? I don't understand what you're getting at. Oh, don't just pretend. Don't pretend not to know what I'm talking about. How could you do such a thing? Hey, you're still getting me confused. Really? What? Now tell me. Did you retrieve the money I gave to that poor widow? Mm-hmm. Of course. Do you have any problem with that? Of course I do. Why would you do that? Ah, I, I mean, how could you do such a thing? Let me tell you what you don't understand, sweetheart. You see those women you're sharing our money? Our rappers? Food stuff too? They don't mean well for you. Their mission is just to pull you down. And how is that your problem? It is my problem because you're my husband. No, you leave that for me to bother. Okay? Now, let me have that money then. Why, why would I give you the money? It's now mine. Hmm? What is life if you cannot help those that need help? Huh? Now let me ask you this question. How do you sleep at night? Oh, very comfortable on my waterbed. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, you need advice. Let me advise you. Those things you think matter most in life, a time will come when they will matter nothing to you. You go out there embarrassing me with your malicious behavior. Imagine that poor widow rolling on the ground because you took the money I gave to her to sustain her and her family. How could you? How wicked are you? Oh, come on. I didn't get married to a sadist. Why do you do that joy in causing people pain? Why do you make people sad all the time? Abby, I'm not a sadist. And I've not even started with your people. Of course. Why must they keep barging in and out all the time begging you for money? You are not their bank. So what is all this? Margaret, I do what I do because they are my people. Moreover, giving is living. Putting smiles on the faces of people brings joy to my soul. That is why I do what I do. Maybe you have forgotten all you've done for your people. Abe, let me remind you. Maybe you have forgotten all you've done for your people. Ten. You single-handedly turned this local small town called Ichi to London. Of course you did that. You also constructed the roads of this Ichi. You single-handedly also gave them a good pipe bond water. You didn't end there. You built a wonderful school, not it. You built schools for them and gave them free education. It didn't just end there. You gave them good hospitals where they go and receive your treatments free of charge, put to bed free of charge, which is why all the time they take it in and out, go there because it's free of charge. Everything cuts to your who. Abe. Now, does it mean these people cannot give you a moment of rest for you to relax with your family? Am I complaining? Have you not done enough already? No. I'll do more. Oh. Do you know why? We are talking about my people. They came out en masse 
to vote for me during the election. And yes, their votes counted. Acknowledge the fact that you may have motivated me out of my comfort zone to contest for the seat of the Senate in my constituency. But without their votes, that exercise would have been in futility. So yes, I will continue to do more. And there is nobody, I repeat, nobody can stop me from doing that. Not even you. The tears that she cries What have you gained? At a of your mind. My husband's given lifestyle is the only problem I have with him. He's willing to give even his last penny just to ensure that his people are happy. Honestly, I don't believe that. Thank you, Dr. Abbott. If I was full of life, there has to be a child. Yes. Obviously, gentlemen. I actually spoke with him yesterday on his way to the airport. I'm totally surprised about this. I never believed the rumor until I heard it on the news as at 9 p.m. yesterday. Company manager. Same here with me. Senator Dr. Abbey and I spoke on the phone before he boarded a flight that claimed his life. They killed my husband. The bad eggs in politics killed my husband. Please, you don't allow what you are about saying now to leave the confines of this room. It was half years, you know. I beg you. Oh, what will happen, Party Chairman? What will happen? No, let him come and kill me as well. I will keep saying it. Of course, they killed my husband. Yes, and wait. Of course, they know well that my husband doesn't live in Abuja. That he's coming from Ichi, you know, for the senatorial meeting. And they waited and killed my husband. <sighs> what? In as much as I know that we are bereaved over my father's departure, it is imperative that we watch our utterances at this point. <laughs> Just like the party chairman said, the walls have ears. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, my husband. I think I have to come kill me as well. That's the only time you'll be able to close this mouth of the and I will kill Please say that they killed my husband. I Lord Abbey. I never have been into politics. I forgot that this politics is a dirty game. Oh! <laughs> the immediate family of Senator Dr. Abbey, the extended families and all the party members. At this juncture, let us rise to give Senator Dr. Abbey one minute silence. That's right. May the soul of Senator Dr. Abe and all the 34 departed. Rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 Let us see. Oh, I'm the bad. They have to kill my husband. It's okay, Mom. Mommy's okay. She's still together. Alright? Okay. <laughs> Lady Mark, it's okay. Everything is going to be fine. It's okay. Alright. 
Let us not cry like those who have lost hope already. It is all right. It's okay, Mom, okay? Dad? Yes. So this is Nigeria? Yes, my brother. Dad, for you? Yes, son. Daddy? Yes, son. Nigeria is beautiful. You can say I like it. What? What are you saying? That is not true. What do you say Nigeria is beautiful? I mean, Nigeria can be like Nigeria. I love America. I mean, Nigeria is beautiful and you are back to your country to stay. It's a type of people. I don't like this thing. Can we just go back already? <laughs> don't worry, you'll get to like it this time. Child, we have lost his soul. What did we do? Does Abby deserve to die? The only thing we told that has our back. Hi! I hope it's gone. Please, let's go. I'm very sorry, ma. Uh, I can't let any of you in here, mama. My lady has instructed that no one goes inside aside from the immediate family and close relatives, please. Hey! You all can mourn out here. I'm sorry, Mama. I've been my son. I've been. You didn't tell me you were going so soon. I was here the last time you came back. Dad. What is happening? Hey, I think let's condole with the family. His son at least. I'm sorry, Mama. I can't allow that. I'm only following instructions. Hey, I've been my son. Hey! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Please step backward. I don't want to use force on you. Please. Step backward. Dad, my brother and I are citizens of California. I don't even know why you and Mom decided to bring us back to this place. Mom, just to me, it's in all sincerity of her. Okay. Mm -hmm. you like her. Definitely. No, Mommy, you don't like Nigeria. I know you don't like him. Oh, Irene. Don't worry, you'll get this to it, okay? Mm -hmm. What? Is this your phone? Don't you have your own phone? No, I don't you do. Please stop it. What? Junior, that is Ario. Junior, you're not saying anything. You like it, but I don't know what you're saying. Okay? You know, Junior, you're sure you like Nigeria? That's very dark. I love Nigeria. Whatever. You can only go to US again when you are on vacation. You're the best dad in the whole world. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Thank, Thank you, Daddy. Daddy. You're welcome, sir. I know you are very sweet. You stole this country. It's a very wonderful country. Um, hopefully, Dad. I pray so. Because at this point, I'm feeling so hot. Daddy, don't mind her. I want to stay. I, I like Nigeria. <laughs> Junior. What? You're sure? Whatever. Yes, Daddy. I hope you are okay. Yes, but I'm fine. Even as much as you say everything goes to you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Anytime there is vacation, you and Junior will go to the US and spend it. Oh! Really? That is the best news ever. Thank you so much, Daddy. <laughs> Sounds nice, yeah? Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh.
George, my son, that's it. Your father is gone. But that's the truth. Your father is gone. The most annoying part of it is that we couldn't even find your dad's remains for us to at least commit him to moderate. They had killed your father. What? Mom, Mom, please just stop already, okay? You should not be sowing the seed of discord with these people. Now will you shut up your mouth? What do you know? I know that my father is a victim of circumstance. That's what happened. My dear, I'm telling you that the witches in it, she killed your father. A while ago, you said it was my, it was my father's political detractors that killed him, and here you are now saying that it's witches from Ichi that killed him. What is wrong with you, brother? Why are you acting this way? My father was a very good man, a very very good man, and I know that there is no one in Ichi that would raise a finger against my father because they loved him. Ramsey is wrong, absolutely wrong. They killed your father. The witches killed him. What does he know? He doesn't know anything. Anyway, let's leave all that. Please tell me, sweethearts, how is yours? Will you blame your father's death on me? I'm asking you. I'm telling you the truth, mother. You caused it. You caused it. I'm talking to you, yes. So what nonsense are you talking about? 
Will you close your mouth? I'm asking you if you will treat people the right way. You treat people with their own trash. You don't show compassion. You don't treat people like they are human beings. You treat them like, like they are nobody. That is not right. That's not fair. Think about it. Think about it. Ramsey. You know, Mama Nugu said something. If only, if only you had listened, if only you were just calm enough to hear what she had to say that day, my father will still be alive today. Mama Noku, please. I have an important message for the senator. Okay. I must see the senator now. Mama, Lady Margaret is inside and she would never allow you to see the senator. So it will be best you give me the message, then I'll deliver it to the senator. Please. It's for his ears alone. Eh? No, 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 Mama, no, no, Mama, please. Mama, please. No, Mama, please. You can't, you can't go in. You can't go in. No, 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 Mama. I cannot let you in. Lady Margaret is around. Okay, just give me the message, then I'll, I'll convey it to you. Okay. What are you doing here, Mama? I have a message for the senator. It's very important. Please allow me to speak. Huh? There is an impending danger. I saw it clearly. In my Mama, look, what are you doing here? Oh, have I not told you before not to step your foot in that premises? What is wrong with you, Mama Nuku? Let me just see the senator. Hmm? Let me see him. Please, I beg of you. Oh, please. Let me see the senator. It's very important and urgent. Oh, please. Are you now a prophetess, Mama Nuku? Come, this woman. It's like you like trouble. You like trouble, Mama Nuku. All you want me to do now is just to push you one hand and you fall on the floor, hit your head on the ground and die. And they will call Margaret a martyr. Is that what you want? No, there's no got into that. Let me just leave him. I would, I would, I would. If you utter a word, I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in horror, Jack. Get out! I can't! 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 I did anything happen to It is you that something will happen to and not my husband. You better keep quiet. Hey, the gods of our land will bear me witness that I tried saving Hey, hey, the gods of our land. You cost it. You cost it. To you, everyone who was coming close to my father was doing so because of his money. You cost it. It loved him. They loved him because he was very compassionate. They loved him because he treated them nicely. That's against how you treat people. All you do is antagonize them. How would you ever think that people he gave his life for would want to hurt him. Now he's dead. I hope that makes you happy. Sorry. 
so sorry. Rabbi, forgive me wherever you are. I should have allowed Mama Nugu to come in and deliver her message. I didn't know. Your death is indeed a big blow to your loved ones that you left behind. Believe you me, I miss you so much. I can't forget the very first day I met you. It was magical. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will never forget you. Abby. Abby. Yeah. Are you Yoruba or Igbo? Okay, I'm happy Yoruba, happy you. Oh. What do you mean by that? Which of the times are Yoruba and Igbo? Okay, my dad is Yoruba and my mom is Igbo. Oh, really? Okay, I'm Margaret. Mark for sure. Oh, Maggie? You never call me that. <laughs> I prefer Mag. Okay, you win. Yeah, I studied theater art in the same university. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Maggie, you are actually so beautiful and so elegant. Mm -hmm. I love it like a little style too. Okay. So, can I... Maggie, what? I'll call you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I appreciate you for coming out. No problem. So tell me about you. Tell me about your yourself, your family, your siblings, everything. I just want to know. Well, nothing much. I don't have any siblings. I don't have siblings. I was single-handedly raised by my military father. He lived in the back. And then back then in school, they used to me for a release coming back, girl. <laughs> it must be a very strong girl then. Yeah. Hey. Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I'm a student. Yeah. University of Lagos, in Lag. Studying political science. I love politics so much. I'm wow. so immersed in politics. Wow, me too. I love politics a lot. Really? Yeah. And that makes us <laughs> work. <laughs> so, first? Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. You've really brought light to my life. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. My father likes you. Yeah, I know. So tell me, what about your mom? Like I said earlier, my mom is from Lagos State. Mm -hmm. She's Yoruba. Um, she had me with my dad and then got married and moved on with her life. I don't understand. According to them, they used to be lovers until she took in. Yeah. But then my dad had to go back to the East, left Lagos, go back to the East to secure a job and secure it. Where he worked in the state capital. Wow. That's a story. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was raised by my grandparents mm. um, till I was old enough to ask questions. So I asked my mom who my real father is, and when she told me, I had to journey down to Anambra State in search of my father. It's okay. Um, when I got to Anambra State, um, or can't be precise, I saw my father and I I gave him the picture and he recognized my mom. That was where I finally found out it was my dad. 
Well, it's good for one to trade with you. Now let's see, I've tested the other person. Yeah, he had um, other children. But then he accepted me. I'm happy about that. Right. See, the thing was that I was just, I was really happy because I found my identity. Yeah. I wasn't there because of fuckers or causing problems or inheritance of properties. I was just happy that I finally got to see my father. Yeah. So your stepmom and her children, they think nice. Yeah, they are nice people. They accepted me very well, wholeheartedly, and I'm happy about that. Um, he both love themselves so much. And most times they will tease me and call me when you feel man or more you go back. What the same. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Abe, my sweetheart. You were very intelligent. Well exposed and educated. You went for your doctorate degree even after you graduated with first class in political science. Sweetheart, I'm going to miss you. You are the love of my life. Our children will miss you. Progressive Movement Party will miss you as well. The nation at large is going to miss you. And you, my love, What is wrong with you two crazy guys? <laughs> Keep the crazy guys I am! What you doing? You are here! You don't even know them! I'm here to help you! 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 I think mom and dad has warned you to disease from this program, haven't they? I said I'm hungry, I want to eat. Please don't shut up your mouth. What is wrong with you? What's your problem? All the time you want to eat. You have to wait for mom and dad to eat together. No yeah, way. Hey. I'm not waiting for mom and dad. I want to eat. I'm very good at eating everything I see. If your name is in your house, watch that place. No, go there. What are you telling me? Take this. What's your problem? Why don't you wait? You want to eat, 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 you I'm going upstairs to call them. If you're a junior, go there and touch that food. Don't wait for them, man. Touch it. I'm trying to see what I'll do for you. Let's go find it. Hello. 
I really need to run. Remember I told you I have a 7 a.m. lecture. Lord. Sweetheart, I will drop you up to the campus. Then from there, I will move straight to my office. Then drive to the construction site and see what those boys are doing. Who is there? Good morning, guys. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? Fine, thank you. Uh, okay. I can see you with a dress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Breakfast is set. Oh, that's nice. Hope you've given my son something to eat. Hmm, mom, he's at the dining, he's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know my son does not joke with his food. At all. Let's go. Let's go. about to receive from the bouncing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Faculty of Psychology, as we speak right now, is battling stroke. And another lecturer in the same faculty also has stroke. My question now is why? On the why what? Why so much evil in the Faculty of Education, my dear husband? I mean, in an educational sector, you see, they said that the heart of a woman is desperately wicked. Desperately wicked, yes. yes. So, but I still ask, why would a human being derive so much joy in freaking pain on another human being? Why? Uh, you know, my challenge is that. Those ones are the ones that claim to be more righteous than others. 
I'm telling you. Uh -huh. It really beats my imagination with the things I see around. I'm telling you. Hello, welcome to Mega B Group of Companies. You're speaking with Lady Margaret. How may I help you, please? Good morning, madam. Good morning. Who am I speaking with? Okay, my lady. Oh, Mr. Jacob, how are you? Very well, my lady. What happened? We have not seen our news. I'm so, so sorry, Mr. Jacob. Um, we are experiencing an internal breakdown in my company, believe me. Uh, our list is developed, a fault, and we have tried to rectify it. But as we speak right now, I've gotten a new list. Sorry about that. Only that we are running. Okay, I'm so sorry, Mr. Jacob. Very soon you will get all your goods, I assure you. It's okay, my lady. We are waiting. You know, Margaret. Alright, Mr. Jacob, don't worry. You will soon see your goods. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Thank you, Margaret.
You just called my name. Do I know you from anywhere? Mr. Matthew. My name is Chief Additional Adewale. You? Additional Adewale that called me yesterday and you were threatening my life. Oh yes, it's me. You think you can just come all the way from the United States of America and outshine me in one city? <laughs> now listen to me, addition or whatever you call yourself. You know I can get you arrested and charge you to come. Oh, Matthew, save that, save that breath. Look, if you know what is good for you, you better leave this city. Else! Else what? What makes you think I will leave this city for you? You are a contractor for God's sake. Likewise, my son. I am. I am a This is my husband. My husband. I own this city. And I call the shops here. This is my state. And my hometown. Christ, for crying out loud. If you know what is good for you, you better live. Or else you have, else you have yourself to blame. You are just a toothless fucking dog that cannot do anything. You cannot do anything. America, what you get? It's nonsense. You cannot do anything. What do you think is happening out there? I don't know. Who's that fearsome looking man there? Oh, he says something, please. I don't even know him. I think he was the one that called me last night and was threatening fire and bristol. No! And you didn't even mention it to me? He told me his name is uh, Adeshino Adewale. The one that owns the construction company in this city. I remember we both submitted a proposal to the federal government to construct a federal road. But I want the contract. Yes. Okay. So he sees you at the right up. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't have rivalry. But he mentioned, he made mention of that. That since I came into the town, he has not been winning any contract. So he wants you out of city then? I think I have to report it to police. So he wants you out of the city. Darling, I think we have to go back to the US. I will report him to the police. He will have to sign an undertaking if anything should happen to me or any members of my family. Dad, if you can't go back to the US, why don't you look to another city? So, there you go again. Huh? If we keep relocating, that means we we'll continue relocating from one city to another because of people who sees us as a threat. So 
So what do we do now? Honey, in as much as I understand vividly where you're coming from, I want you to understand that our lives are at stake here. We are no longer safe here. Like I said, come back. Everything will be put in place. We are not going to run away for anybody. Okay? Dad, I don't know, but I'm just having a mixed feeling about this whole thing. Me too, Dad. Like I said, come back. I will handle everything. Eh? Good. You sure about that? Yes. Dan. I was thinking you would go and make entry today in the police station. But you left it for tomorrow. And you know delay is very dangerous. Anything can happen. Honey, just calm down. Oh, I will do that first thing tomorrow morning. I will go to the police station and report this matter. So calm down. Oh. And the worst is that we are being trailed. Huh? This is the exact reason why I frowned at relocating back to this country. So many negative and evil energies around everybody. He will do nothing. Yes, he cannot do more than a dead rat. Darling, someone is threatening your life and the life of your entire family and you dare say this. Honey, I said he will do nothing. Please, I don't want anything to happen to anybody. I don't want anything to happen to either my kids, you or I. Please. I don't I don't know what you want to hear from me again. I say calm down. Relax. Nothing will happen. I just hope so. I know why I'm saying this. I know the reason why I'm lamenting and it looks like I'm talking too much. I don't want anything to happen to my kids, my my husband or myself, please. Let me check what I have in the fire. That's all good. It's all right. You know, Daddy, I think we should go downstairs. Let's go to the sitting room and wait for dinner. Okay. for that meal, considering what happened earlier today. Imagine, I couldn't go to deliver lectures today because of that man. <laughs> I will handle Chief Additional decisively. Yes, I have to. Really? I think you have to. I mean, what kind of man would ask his fellow man to leave the town for him? Who does that? He feels he has wings and cap rights. He feels he has gotten the cap. But I will teach him a lesson. I will take him to the higher authorities. Exactly. Hmm. You have to. But then you just have to be very careful. This is exactly the reason why the kids and I refused relocating down to this country. The country is our own, Nigeria is our own. And I believe that the government and the citizens have to make Nigeria great. I promise you that Nigeria will be good again. I agree with you. But the likes of Adesina should be swept out of this country. If possible, imprisoned. 
Now you are talking like my professor. <laughs> and the professorship aside, I am scared to death. Yes, yeah, this country is not a safe place to stay. While we were abroad, we heard of the terrible things going on in this country. And that was why the kids and I refused coming back here. But my darling husband was hell-bent on bringing us down here. Now look at it. And you know very well I've not really lived in this country much since I was born. Uh, Anna, it's okay. Stop lamenting. I know what to do. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going straight to a police station to report a threat to life. So calm down. That's just the best option. That's the best thing you have to do. I can't wait for the day to break already. Of course I'll do that. Yes. Yes.
Hand them over to me now, don't waste my precious time. I will have time. Oh, at the count of five, if I don't have to slip out of my hand. Please, 
Out of your mind. Run away! 